Hey there, data enthusiast! Welcome to our deep dive into the fascinating world of data ingestion. I am your guide through domain 1, task 1.2, task statement 1.2 of the AWS Machine Learning Specialty Certification. You know, the one that makes everyone's eyes glaze over at parties. But stick with me, I promise to make this journey as fun as a data pipeline can be. Think of me as your AWS tour guide, showing you around the neighborhood where data lives, works, and occasionally gets transformed into machine learning magic. By the end of this session, you'll be fluent in data ingestion speak. And trust me, it's more useful than that year of Latin you took in high school, so you're going to benefit. All right. So let's just start with the basics. What exactly is data ingestion, right? Imagine, imagine you're running an all-you-can-eat all buffet restaurant, but instead of food, you're serving data to hungry machine learning models, okay? So data ingestion is basically your entire restaurant operation, from sourcing the ingredients like raw data, to feed prep like processing, to getting it all onto the buffet line storage, right? But until your local buffet, yeah, but unlike your local buffet, <laughs> We don't just dump all the data onto one plate, right? No, no. We're much more sophisticated than that. We need to handle everything from massive batch deliveries, I think whole, wholesale grocery truck deliveries, to continuous streaming data, which is more like a conveyor belt sushi restaurant. Each has its place, and each needs its own special handling. Now, let's talk about our main characters in the data ingestion story, okay? Batch load jobs and streaming jobs. They're like the, uh, you know, the way that, what is that, turtle and the rabbit story? Yeah, so it's, it's like the data world, except in this story, they, they both win, okay? So in the blue corner, we have the batch load jobs, the heavyweight champion of the big processing, okay? These are your patient, methodical workers who show up at a, at a scheduled time, roll up their sleeves, and, massive process, and, and process massive amounts of data into one go. Think of them as the, as the meal prep enthusiasts of the, of the data world, right? They do all their cooking on Sunday for the entire week, all right? Okay, so, and in the red corner, we have a streaming job. It's the data demon of data processing, right? These are your real-time warriors processing data faster than you can say machine learning, okay? So they're like short-order cooks in a busy diner, handling orders as they, as they come in. So no matter, no matter how fast they're flying through the kitchen window, right? All right, so batch ML workload. So let's, let's dive into batch processing. You know, you know how your smartphone backs up all your photos at night while you're sleeping? That's batch processing in, in action, okay? In AWS world, we have some powerful tools for this. First up, we have AWS Glue, the serverless ETL service that transforms your data faster than a teenager cleans their room when promised pizza, okay? Which is to say, surprisingly efficiently. And don't forget Amazon EMR, the heavyweight champion of the big data processing. It's like having an entire army of data processors at your command. Except you don't have to feed them or give them the breaks, right? But when should you use batch processing? Well, it's perfect for, you know, batch processing is perfect for training those hungry ML models with historical data, running those end-of-day reports that management loves, right? Or processing large data sets when real-time isn't critical. And... My personal favorite, cleaning up data messes that accumulated over time. Okay. So, a streaming based ML workload. So, you know, so the streaming data, I mean, th that's basically the caffeine fueled energy drink version of data processing. Okay. This is where speed meets precision. Okay. Amazon Ken Kinesis is your go to service here. Think of it as a super highway for your data with multiple lanes handling different speeds of traffic. And just like a highway, you're not stopping, right? Data flows, to there's no stopping and, and data flows 24 seven. But wait, there's more. With Amazon Firehose, you get the convenience of managed delivery. 
It's like having a personal courier service for your data, except this courier never gets stuck in traffic or delivers to the wrong address. Let me share a real world example. Imagine you are running a social media platform. Every like, every comment, every embarrassing photo your friend posted at 2 a.m., all of that needs to be processed in instantly. That's where streaming shines. Okay, so let's talk about orchestration, right? Now, orchestrating all this data movement requires some serious coordination. It's like conducting a symphony, except instead of musicians, you're conducting data flow. And trust me, data can be just as temperamental as as a diva soprano, okay? AWS Functions is your conductor's baton, okay? Here, it helps you coordinate your data pipeline with the precision of a Swiss, Swiss watch. And for those really complex orchestrations, we have Amazon MWA, which is just a fancy way of saying Apache Airflow with Amazon AWS superpowers. All right, let's talk about scheduling, right? Scheduling and data ingestion is crucial. It's like being the air traffic controller at a busy airport. You need to make sure everything lands and takes off at the right time without any collision. All right, would you like to schedule schedule your ETL job for, say, every day at midnight, once a week on Sundays, or maybe whenever the system isn't busy doing something else? So AWS Glue Triggers and Event Bridge have got you covered, right? So AWS Glue Triggers and Event Bridge. All right, now to talk about security. Because nobody wants their data running around without proper clothes on, right? Think of AWS Security Service. Services as your data's personal bodyguards. IAM is like your bouncer, checking IDs at the door. KMS is your wall keeper, making sure all the sensitive stuff stays encrypted. And CloudTrail is your security camera system, keeping logs of who touched what and when, right? Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to implement these security measures to keep your data safe and compliant. All right, let's wrap it up, right? Remember, batch and streaming are like like different tools in your toolbox. Use the right one for the right right job, okay? AWS services are your friends. They are here to help, not to confuse you, okay? Always keep security in mind because nobody likes a data breach, right? All right, so, and that's a wrap on on our data ingestion adventure. Remember, in the world of machine learning, Good data ingestion is like good pizza delivery. It needs to be reliable, timely, and arrive at the right right temperature. Uh, Wait, maybe maybe that last part doesn't apply to data, but yeah, it's the same thing, right? I'm here to answer any questions you might have. Don't be shy. There are no silly questions in data ingestion or only silly data formats. So thank you for your attention and to your data pipelines flow smoothly.